A hey, blessed morning, Grateful Gap family. Welcome into our Juneteenth Meditation Monday. Again, today is Juneteenth, remembering um, the day of the last release of slaves um, being freed. They were in the state of Texas on June 19th, 1865. We are not even 200 years away from slavery being ended here, quote unquote, being ended here in America. Um, so for Meditation Monday this morning, man, I just want to be able to meditate and give, you know, acknowledgement to our ancestors. Like I said, I don't care what race and ethnicity you are, but here in America, uh, our black our black brothers and sisters were slaves, and they, you know, they sacrificed a lot to be able to continue to live in this country, and they went through so much turmoil over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years to be able to get us to this point now, and me personally, I'm going to do what I have to do to be able to not take my ancestors sacrifices and blood sweat and tears for you know take it for granted i'm gonna do what i gotta do to be able to better myself better my family in this country and continue to bring real equality in this country for all of our people not just black people i mean all the people everybody you know what i mean we really need 100 percent equality to be on the same level playing field america has got so used to classes that you know they look at people of higher class look at other individuals like they're nothing and things of that nature and, and that's not the way to go so we have to be able to get more people in the high class to, to change the society there and every every level I step up to I'm trying to just do my part and where I am in my life and and up, uh, around the people and, and the people around me you know so again that's what I want to be able to do meditation Monday on today Juneteenth so um, I might get directly to the daily verse daily verse for the day of June 19th 2023 derives from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 and it states as follows don't team up with those who are unbelievers how can righteousness be a partner with wickedness how can light live with the darkness what harmony okay I'm, I'm, that's what I, I, I went too far so I'm gonna read the 14 again I was going into 15 so don't team up with those who are unbelievers how can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with the darkness? Amen. And again, it's from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. And again, ladies and gentlemen, um, bless Juneteenth. Thank you to all our ancestors, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all sacrifices. I appreciate y'all dedication to your families and the individuals around you to be able to keep, keep chugging through. Just because you know, you know, if you didn't, those persons were going to take your life and things of that nature. And you won't, you won't be able to be a, a mother. You won't be able to be a father. You won't be able to be a brother or a sister or whatever it may be, man. So I appreciate y'all, man. Like truly, I, I can only imagine what y'all have been through. You know, I, I've only seen the history and in, in the and in the and the, the symbolism and the and the images of what we went of what y'all been through. But I can never imagine. I never could walk in y'all's shoes. And I thank y'all so much, man. I, truly, bro. I appreciate y'all because. At the end of the day, it was just God. God was 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 putting y'all through something way worse, so that so that I y'all ancestors, the people after y'all, could benefit and reap so highly, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. I love y'all. Long live my ancestors, man. Happy Juneteenth. Grateful God, family. I love y'all, man. Like I said, through this meditation Monday, please, you know, allow yourself to be able to again, you know, whatever whatever ethnicity you are, just pay homage to your ancestors, man. Everybody went through stuff in their lives and sacrificed so much to be able to have our generation get to this point. So just remember that. Love y'all.
appreciate y'all. My ancestors sacrificed so much for me for me to be able to even get to this point. To have freedom of speech, to have a voice to be heard, to have an opportunity to be a great African American man in this country. Thank you. Thank you for all the people who helped our ancestors. Thank you, God. Thank you for putting them in a position to be able to come to this land, Father God, and, and make an opportunity for, for, their, for their kids and their kids, 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 and they ain't even know, Lord. They ain't even know. They came here shackled, but our generations were born free. We were born in, in, play, in, 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 in place systems to be able to target our communities and put us in turmoil and, and continue to keep us in bondage, but we will rise. Real rise because like like MLK said, I have a dream, but his dream was just the beginning. And I just thank him. I thank him for I thank all of them. I'm telling you, I thank them. Because they created so many individuals like myself. And we appreciate them and we're gonna do what we have to do to be able to go forth and better everybody. Everybody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today, man. Blessed Juneteenth. It's a great day because today, Lord, thank you. I love you, man. Thank you, Father. Father Jehovah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, man. I love y'all. Appreciate my ancestors. I love y'all. I love my. Appreciate my my my, my podcast family. Appreciate my family. Everybody. I thank y'all for y'all life. I thank God for y'all lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today, Father God. Thank you. Great God family. Like, comment, subscribe. All major podcast platforms, man. Bless it, Juneteenth. Bless it, Juneteenth. Long live the ancestors, man. Long live the follow. Love y'all, man. Long live the ancestors and the eagles. Love y'all. Have a blessed day. Let's make the best of it.